Today's mission is to try and sort something else out with the awning. Uh, I did discover that I can move these brackets across about another 10 to 15 mil. I've also discovered that the camper is not actually square on top of the trailer at the moment. So I camper give you this trusty little thing. If you need to undo it in the field, <coughs> just pop that in there and <coughs> undo them. But since I'm at home, we'll try it this way. So just going to do all four of those and then try and shift the camper over this way a little bit further. Last two on the back. Shifting the tent round is not that hard because it's not particularly heavy. So hopefully I'll be able to do this by myself. Here goes. Okay, that was a bit easier than expected. And now the front. Gold. Now we're just so we're looking at two hundred and about two twenty-eight. back one hey so I'm going to set it up as far this way as we can this one here and the back one are the same uh, you can't really tell that it's not quite square let's open this up yep we've got about five to ten mil clearance in there so that's gold and then we'll just do up all these brackets and then we'll move on and have a look at doing what we can to the awning but I must say if you had the version one brackets and you're moving or taking your camper on and off it would almost be worth buying a set of these and I think you can get locks too which go into, there's a couple of little slots up in here. So you can padlock it on. So up in behind here, there's three 13 mil nuts to undo, which then run in this slide that runs along here. Same thing at the other end. So this end's not gonna be an issue because all that's gonna happen is that this cover is gonna move this way a little bit I said, I reckon you know, that much, 10 to 15 mil, will probably do the trick. It's this cover at the other end that's going to cause some grief. So if you ever need to undo the nut on the bottom of one of these GME antennas, they're a 19 mil. I um, had a spare radio kicking about. So I decided I'd just stick it here in the camper, which is very handy when you've got kids running around. They've got their own little uh, little GME walkie-talkies that they can take with them so they can run off and go and do things. And we can just hear them here from a base if we need to. This end will be the tricky bit. Because as you can see, this bit of the cover here will need to go that way. So. Whether I can just put this behind it or have to trim it off completely, I'm not sure. But let's have a undo these. These are 13 mils, by the way. If you ever need one, two. It's 
a poke trip bracket for on the uh, older tent you could put out the tropical roof and it went onto the top of those so it would keep the rain off but no longer required but we might as well keep them on there oh there is a little bit of actually all we need Right, after a bit of finagling, we actually have moved it maybe back about that far. The question will be if that's going to be far enough. Uh, might just have to try and wheel the camper outside and try it with the awning and see what happens. One of the good things about this camper is that it doesn't actually weigh very much. So it's very easy to move around. Chocks away. And breaks off. Away we go. Disconnect that. We'll see if we've had a win. So the whole issue was caused by this knuckle here, when you deploy the awning, didn't have enough room to clear the back of the camper here. And I'm hoping, now that it's all moved back, we might have enough room. So it's so this gap in here was the one I was worried about. So that's not really going to hit on the camper as much anymore. We can put this pole down to the ground just about wherever we need it. And we have some halfway decent tension along here, which we didn't have before. And this second hole that I had to drill in there, not required. So I would say overall, it's a bit of a win. So if you do have one of these on your X1, you can just back off all the screws that are up in there, or the bolts, slide it back a little bit. So hopefully that should do it. We've got enough clearance up in here now. This is nice and tight with the spreader on here. So the next time we go camping and we put the awning up completely, we'll be able to suss it out. We'll have to peg this one down into the ground and maybe find some way to clamp it onto here, which I think is probably going to be better than the way that it was just attached onto the brackets that Patrick provide in the first place when you've got enough room to put your awning up. So I put it all away now and bolt everything back together and we shall see how we go. So if anyone's got any questions about what I did, it's all pretty easy, undo some bolts and shift it around. But it all comes down to whether you've got one of these eye camper campers on your trailer. All right, see you in the next one.